Good evening Aquarians and this is Ginea Neja with your reading for the year of 2022. Now this is not for the sun sign and moon sign of Aquarians. This is only for the ascendant sign and the reason I'm doing it only for the ascendant sign is because a lot of major planets are shifting signs like Rahu, Ketu, Saturn, Jupiter and they're going to be going retrograde next year for quite a few months. Uh, that is Saturn and Jupiter is what I'm talking about. So uh, that is going to affect the ascendant since ascendant is the most important uh, part or sign of the zodiac. So uh, the theme, so I'm doing this reading a little different from how I generally do it. So I've picked out one card for the theme of the year for you. And it seems that you're going to be doing very well. And you're going to be in command. And uh, the theme of the year for you is that uh, taking control of situations in your life. And uh, uh, internally you may be uh, a little stressed out about finances and you are trying out ways and means a new job or maybe phone calls or maybe you know new kinds of business and uh, you know thinking about what to do and what not to do but money is I mean there's nothing you can't handle here there's nothing you can't handle you know you can take the risk Things are up and down, but you really know how to handle it. So you are, you can be pretty shrewd and smart when it comes to financial dealings. So uh, basically the energy of the spread is pretty fine. There's nothing to worry about, I would say. Uh, just leave stress out. And uh, health-wise, you just need to breathe. Probably you can do some pranayam. Archangel Raphael says, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Like I said, do pranayam. So that was health for you. Relationships, the guidance for relationship is healing family issues. Maybe you could uh, take some healing sessions from Aaron or Komal or Ricky, I mean, if there are any family issues, I think you should, actually, I think you should be doing a family constellation with Dr. Yogesh Vasandi. That is what you could do. Um, if you've seen my channel, uh, these are names people with whom I've done videos uh, who do healing, different healing modalities. So uh, their numbers are there on those videos. If you have not seen them, then you could go back and see those videos down below. So uh, there are certain family issues that may need healing or it could be your inner child that may need healing, uh, which may actually be creating this issue for you. And uh, financially, it says a favorable outcome. And yes, I'm sure with Saturn going into Aquarius, it is going to be a favorable outcome. So there's nothing to worry about. Although Rahu Ketu is going to be in Aries and Libra respectively. But uh, financially, there's nothing to worry about. So this was the reading for the year of 2022. Overall, what does this year hold for you? I will be coming back with uh, a tarot session and the numerology is left and I haven't yet done it because I want to do it in the end. So that is something you really need to see. It's going to be a little long, but it's going to be very important. So thank you so much for watching. In case uh, you need a personal appointment, you can get in touch with me on my social media, WhatsApp, Telegram. You can email me on my email address, which is guinea.mysticbell at gmail.com. That is G-I-N-N-I dot M-Y-S-T-I-C-P-A-L at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Take care.